Oh, family, what's good? It's your boy, Sean. Listen, some of you already follow me on uh, YouTube, but if you're new here uh, because the video drew you here, I want to welcome you to my channel. Um, some of you follow me from the Go Be Great in Your Lavender video. If you have not seen that video, get familiar with it. But look, we're here. I'm going to get right into the nitty gritty. We're here because the aesthetics for iOS 14 is driving everybody bananas. And I just want to show you um, what your boy did with his aesthetics on his uh, home screen. And um, it's pretty wild. It's pretty ridiculous. Everybody has their own vibe, their own feelings going on. But I want to break it down really simple. Um, it was a little difficult in the beginning because you're going through all of this transformation and shortcuts and stuff like that. But we're going to go step by step to get you to understand how to break your uh, aesthetics down and how to get the update on your phone. Um, it's mad dope. So I just want to share with y'all. All right. Step one, of course, I think that this is everybody's most important step. First of all, let's talk about this lighting. Who do I think I am? Okay. Back to, back to the aesthetics. Step one is to obviously update your phone to iOS 14. Okay. So that's step one. And, um, if you don't know how to do that, you're going to go to your settings. Um, you're going to go to for iPhones, you're going to go to settings and you're going to go to general and there's going to be software update. There should be an option for you to update your phone to the iOS 14. It takes a little bit, but if you're on Wi-Fi, just let it sit a while and you come back 30 minutes, 45 minutes, you're going to be set. So yeah, step one, update to iOS 14 so that you can have all of the features that we are talking about in this video. We don't want it to be ignorant. So let's have all of the features in iOS 14. And step two, we're gonna pick an aesthetic. Okay, so so many people um, are posting on Twitter and uh, TikTok, uh, their, their personal pages that they've created, which is crazy. It looks awesome, it looks dope. Um, but you're your own person, right? So obviously you wanna make sure that you appeal and appease your, your own vibe. Uh, so my home screen, I'm gonna show you my aesthetics real quick. My home screen, I went with a more laid back. Um, you, your boy got his do-rag on. Obviously I'm African-American, so I went with more of my African-American heroes, black women, black men, uh, chill vibe, you know. Uh, I went with the brown aesthetic. Um, brown skin girl, skin like pearl. In this case, brown skin boy. but. Uh, I kind of went with the laid back vibe, something to make me wake up every morning and just feel good about being black, right? Feel good about being a black king. Um, so I went with that, that vibe. Um, obviously you can see here that I've transformed my apps. I've transformed um, my Instagram, my Twitter. Um, and then even at the bottom there, there's my phone. There's my um, Frank Ocean, my boy Frank. Uh, he's smiling in his picture because that's me sending text messages to my boys and my girls and my friends. Um, then you got the internet, you got the lion in the corner. But whatever works for you, whatever vibe you're trying to pick up and, and when people grab your phone, they'll be like, what, what, why? Like, your phone is popping. Why is mine on regular, right? Mine's is on like 2.0 and yours is on 1.3. So whatever you're trying to give, um, Work your own aesthetic. You don't have to look like somebody else. Yours doesn't have to be like somebody else's. Work your own aesthetic, okay? However you want your vibe of your phone to be, you can do that. Um, step three. So first, yeah, let me go back to step two. Pick your own aesthetic. And how you do that, you go to Google. I personally went to Twitter and um, I downloaded just some pictures of um, Frank Ocean, uh, all of those pictures on the widgets actually like that I've replaced on Twitter and Instagram. Um, Chase, all of those widgets there, I've replaced the pictures from Twitter. So uh, I went to a famous photographer, uh, his Twitter account, and I just took some of his pictures that I thought were dope and replaced it to fit my aesthetics on my screen. So if you go to Google and you download like, um, like cool if you type in google search bar uh brown wallpaper or whatever sandy brown whatever color theme that you want to go with and you make that your home screen um and then you just play with it based off of what you downloaded from the google images right um so or for me personally in my background it's just 
um, a guy that has these combs in his hair that I thought was really cool layout, really cool aesthetic. Um, and I used that and played off of that. So you can go to Google, but I took that picture off of Twitter as well. So Twitter has some great content on there. You don't just have to go to Google, right? So I'm laying this out really quick for you so you can get an understanding because so, so many people play with it and go um, too slow for no reason. But I'm giving you all of the steps really fast. Um, so yeah, find your aesthetic, find what works for you and play off of what works with you. Step three, declutter your device. So if you're anything like me, I have so many apps in my phone. Um, so that was one of my longest processes. Um, with iOS, it gives you the option. You don't have to, like if you tap and hold uh, the apps, you don't have to delete the app. You're just gonna move that app. With iOS, they have this thing called app library. It's gonna say remove from home screen, but it's gonna take it to the app library. So you don't have to remove it from your actual phone, but it's gonna just transfer over to the app library. Um, and I think that's one of the best features. Um, but you definitely want to move everything from your first screen so that your first screen can have your aesthetic layout um, So when you open your phone, that's all you see You don't want to see Facebook aesthetic layout and then you don't want to see regular Facebook, right? It makes no sense. That's what the shortcut is the shortcut is for so you're gonna hold that regular Facebook or that regular app that you're getting ready to transform and it's gonna say you're gonna hold it and then it's gonna be like a minus bar there you're gonna click that and it's gonna say remove from home screen. You're gonna click that and then it's gonna move it over to the app library. Sometimes it gives you the option to say, just move over to app library. So just move all that, like the calculator and all of that standard stuff that comes on the iPhone, just move that over to the app library. So you wanna clear screen, okay? So declutter, declutter your device, organize your device so that you have a clear screen so that it's not all over the place when you're trying to uh, bring everything together, okay? And then you're gonna make your widget, step four. You're gonna make your widget. So there is an app that I want you to download if you have not already downloaded this app, it's called Widgetsmith. Okay, Widgetsmith is just an organizational app, right? So if you uh, download Widgetsmith, there's options in there for you to um, kind of go with the aesthetics of your theme. So for me, I want a, a clock, um, or if I wanted a calendar in my, um, on my on my home screen because I removed all of that stuff and I put that in the app library, right? So if you download Widgetsmith, there's options for you to uh, add those widgets, a clock, a calendar, to your home screen matching the aesthetics of your phone. So if you went with the brown, for me, you see that calendar um, that matches the aesthetics of my phone on my home screen now. So you just easily follow the steps um, that are in my screen recording with Widget Smith, add it to your home screen, and you can add as many. They have small, they have medium widgets, they have large widgets. So what works for you? I did the small widget. Um, so what works for your home screen, if you have a bunch of stuff, I just don't like my phone to be cluttered, but if you don't have a lot of stuff, you can easily make large widgets, medium widgets, whatever, want, whatever you want on your home screen. So those are the four steps, right? Pick your aesthetic, declutter your phone, um, first, download the iOS, so that's number one. Then, um, declutter your phone, Widget Smith, um, and you'll have an iOS screen, um, a home screen like mine. So, remember, make your own based off of what you feel. Okay, play with the screen, play with the iOS, play with the aesthetics on your phone, and um, you'll enjoy yourself. So, that's my quick little smidge. Um, I ain't got nothing fancy or special. Ain't nothing coming out the cameras. Um, I just wanted to come on. Um, ain't nothing coming off the screen. Ain't nobody blowing you up. I don't have any fancy um, visuals. But I just wanted to come and uh, lay that foundation. Because so many people ask me, Sean, how did you get your iOS screen? I mean, your, your iPhone screen like that. So, yeah, simple. Take your time. Don't rush through it so that it won't look half done. Um, and that's easy, right? Well, thank you for tuning into my channel. I'm going to be doing more how-to videos and hopefully that uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. You can come back and learn some more stuff when we find out what's popping after this. Cool. Okay, so I almost forgot the most important part of the video, 
we're gonna act like this didn't even happen. You wanna make sure that you create shortcuts for your aesthetics, your apps, because now all of your original apps like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, they are all moved to the app library. We found that out in the beginning of the video, right? We moved those original apps to the app library. So now you need shortcuts with the images that you put off of Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Google, um, in replacing the original photos for Facebook and Twitter and stuff, which make up the aesthetics of your phone. So you wanna make sure that you follow the steps um, to the side of me here that I've recreated for you um, as I'm recreating the notes app here with a picture that I've put off of Twitter. And you keep doing that with all of the apps that you use. I didn't do them for all my apps. I only did them for the ones that I use most, which my bank app, my Twitter, Instagram, things like that. So um, yeah, I wanted to be sure that I slid that in there because it wouldn't make any sense for you to just have regular apps on uh, an aesthetic phone. So uh, yeah, be sure to follow those steps.